Hey everyone. Good night. How's it going? It's uh, well, it's still light out in Seattle. You can see my windows are kind of cleared up some of the windows so you can see outside there. Still daylight out there a little bit. Uh, I just ate dinner, so I don't have to rush on this. I don't have to go to bed for a couple hours, so. I'm going to do fluorescent colors again. <laughs> Look at those colors. But you can see, I think, can you see that one up there? They've been coming out pretty good. Uh, there's a fluorescent one up there. I really like the way they're coming out. Uh, I started doing that, this style the other day, yesterday. A different type of art but I kind of like it because you can really mess around with colors uh, it's almost like I don't know how to categorize it, but <coughs> today I'm gonna just do uh, something with fluorescent colors I want to thank you to all the uh, new subs out there. I really appreciate it. Well, to all the new, uh, I think I got, I think I got four or five new subs today. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a colorful sky. <clears throat> I kind of like those, uh. get a rag here I bought a I bought some rags at the hardware store today so I don't have to waste all my paper towels so maybe today what I, I think I'll do maybe I'll incorporate that style uh, into the uh, with the fluorescent colors maybe hmm Let's try that. I'll, I'll start with, uh, I'll do a yellow, pink, blue, and purple sky, and then maybe, maybe that type of painting, but with fluorescent colors. I'm not sure. Let me just get started with the sky. Uh, let me show you what I do real quick, because these colors will not flow very well. Uh, right out of the tube so what I'm gonna do is just mix a little white in them <clears throat> these are uh, fluorescent colors by Liquitex okay a few of them might be uh, artist loft from Michaels that's where I work uh, I work there part time just to uh, make some money for food to eat. <laughs> uh, so we'll mix a little yellow in there. I'll wipe my knife off and uh, we'll put a little white in the pink. What this does, it helps the, the colors, uh, it helps the viscosity of the color cover better, okay? And so it doesn't look like uh, there's lines on your painting. See that? It already looks like the viscosity just went way up in this color like it'll cover really easy now <clears throat> I got some red out here I, I haven't used a red uh, fluorescent color yet I'm just gonna put a little white in there anyway it's probably gonna turn pink but there we go just enough white to keep it red. 
what I'll probably do, I'll mix some uh, red and yellow and get some orange. <clears throat> now the green, I need to darken up some green for some dark trees. So I'm going to just put a little black in here. I don't even know if I need black. Uh, yeah, I need a little black. Watch how little I take. Just a little bit on the tip of that knife, okay? Just to darken the green up for trees and bushes. See that? You don't, you don't really need much. Look at that. But it, it ends up looking like a nice sap green though see that sorry this is taking so long to get going but you need to do this before you get going so I thought it'd be better if you see how I do it in person and of course we're going to need to lighten up the blue I'm only going to lighten up just the half of it. For the sky. A light blue. And then a little half of the purple will lighten up. I'm trying to hurry up here. All right, so there's all the colors. There we go. And that, I don't know if I'm gonna use yellow and the green or white or blue, we'll see when I get to the grass. All right, here we go. I'm using a fresh water in my Folgers cup. I did a lot of cleaning in this area here. I don't know if you can see. I cleaned up the corner of my art corner. <laughs> see all that? Still working on it. This whole room, by next week, I'm trying to turn the whole room into an art studio. So, that's my goal. Alright, let me get started. I'm using, uh, this is a 14 by 14. I'm using a number 10 filbert. Let's start with the sky. I'm going to start with a yellow... A yellow sky just kind of like that one up there uh, down low here and I'll grab some pink I'm gonna probably do the whole painting with this brush and I uh, if I decide to make evergreen trees I'll use uh, a number two fan brush and a knife for uh, snow. Let's grab some pink for the sky up here. Just put it in right above the yellow. Maybe mix a little bit down into the yellow. You might get an orange color. What's cool about this fluorescent color, as it dries, it'll get brighter. So, let me try a little red up there. Just a little red. Like, in the top part of the pink, maybe. Let's, like, set the sky on fire a little bit here. 
And then now up here, I'm going to use the blue right on top of the red. And try and blend some of that blue into the red while it's wet. You may end up getting like a purple color in there. And up here, I'm going to use the purple up top. Kind of blending it down, but it's the sky. I'm going to end up putting some clouds up in there, so it'll... It'll be all right. That looks pretty good. You can always darken up the blue a little by just taking a little more blue and when it dries and just throw more blue in there, okay? But let's let this dry real quick. Because if, if you try and add it on now, it just keeps fading in. It just, we got to let it set for a little bit, and then we can add more color to it. <clears throat> but look at that sky already. Wow. A little bit. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my mountain in here right below the yellow. I'm gonna make my uh, like a cool color using this dark green and some pink. Watch this color that we get. It would usually be brown, but it it turns like, uh, is that mauve color? I don't know. Look at that color. Almost like a purplish gray. I'm not even sure what color that is, but it, I'm mixing two fluorescent colors to uh, get that. All right, now I'm going to do put a mountain in here, and then I'll design the rest of the landscape. Wow, getting paint all over the brush here. So I, I think I told you I already ate dinner, so I don't have to hurry on this one. So I'm going to put my peak right here, and I'm trying to let some of the yellow stay in around the mountain. So the yellow ends up being right at the, the, the top of the mountain. Look at that color, though. It's a, it's a pretty cool color for the mountain. It's a little lighter than I usually use, but I think for this painting, it's going to end up being okay. Because this is a different style using this fluorescent colors. You can see some of the yellow underneath the mountain here. You see that? Trying to come through. I wish I could tell you what uh, 
color this is, but I can't. It's just green and uh, pink. <laughs> Fluorescent green with uh, pink. And then you get this really cool color. I'm not... It's supposed to make brown if you mix uh, regular colors. So maybe this is like a fluorescent brown. You can call it that if you want. But you can kind of see how uh, if you just keep playing with your paint, some of this yellow will show through. You get some highlights already going on in there. That looks pretty cool. <clears throat> this is looking pretty good so far. Now I just got to decide what I want here. Let's think about this because the last, that one I did water, this one here. And I think I did one uh, the other day with, uh, I can't remember. what the other one looked like. Uh, you see this cool thing I put in here for, uh, I put some kind of like rack system in there. You see that? It's something you would use like in the, the shower, but I don't need it in the shower. You got something in there. So my friend gave me that. I went over there to fix her, uh, her a ceiling in her shower and this thing was pressing the ceiling up uh, in her shower and I had a re around her shower and I told her we can't put that back in there it's just going to push the ceiling back up so she gave it to me <laughs> now I'm using it in the art studio as just some shelves it's pretty cool Things artists do. <laughs> the crazy things artists do. I think I'm going to put a little, let's put a little blue down here. Just because it's not going to be water. I just want to use the, a little blue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get uh, this put in real quick, just the underpaint, and then I can start uh, designing this. So we got to figure something out here. Let's put some hills in here. That's what we'll do. I'm going to use this mauve color to uh, design it real quick. Let's put a swooping hill here, and we'll put uh, a hill there. And let's see, maybe, boop, boop, boom. Make this to be the uh, foreground here, and I can run some big trees up there. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to put a trail in today. So what I'll do is I'll have some kind of trail coming back from here, through here, and out the side here, like that. So that's what's going to happen there. All right. So, I don't even want to, I don't know if I want to use green today. I kind of like these colors. Uh, let me mix a little yellow and this mauve color. See what color I get. Oh, 
like a yellow ochre. Okay, so I'm going to make this hill here kind of like yellow ochre. Yellow and some of this, we'll call it brown color. And we'll just block this hill in with that color. Over here, maybe we'll put green grass uh, just on this hill here. So I'm going to mix a little bit of green and yellow to get a really, really light fluorescent green here. There we go. So now we got, at least we got some grass in there. <coughs> this here, I'm going to make it, uh, maybe a dark green. Yeah. No. Believe it or not, I'm going to put the color of this. I'm going to put a little more green in this mauve color and darken it up a little bit and put it down here in the foreground. And I just, I'm leaving what's on my brush on there to get the, the colors to mix in there. A little green with this dark mountain color block it in it's really light huh it's really uh I think I mixed a lot of uh, white into the uh, fluorescent colors. That's okay. I'm just trying to get uh, a thin layer of paint down first just to get the underpaint done. There we go. Maybe I'll turn this into a river down here. But there we go. Let me take a look at this in the camera. Not bad. It's really soft looking, huh? It's almost like, uh, I like it because it's not like in your face dark colors, you know? <coughs> I think I'm going to put the, uh, do the mountains real quick with snow. Because that's what's going to kind of determine what, how this turns out. <laughs> hey Ellie, how's it going? Let's see who's in here. The Mighty Blob King. You can paint like this, Blob King. <laughs> the Mighty Blob King. You guys come up with some funny names. Yeah, we can talk about the price, uh, Ellie. That's cool. All right, let's get... Uh, I'm going to put some snow up here. Uh, 
I'm just going to put a lot of snow up here. I'm going to kind of put it up there quickly. This is a this isn't a tutorial video if you're new. Uh, this is a, just so you can see how I how my style of painting is. But I do have plenty of uh, I got plenty of videos on my channel. So if you want to learn how to paint do uh, acrylic landscapes, it's really fun. I'm going to do a light blue and white. This is usually the how I do my uh, mountains with the regular colors. The light blue. Uh, next to the white up here. So I just want to see how it looks. If you're new, if you're new in here, these are fluorescent colors. It's not like the normal paint you use to do like a, a traditional painting. So this is this painting's more like uh, fantasy type. Maybe more like something a uh, like a computer type image, maybe or uh, like what you would see maybe in a comic book. I'm not trying to make it look uh, authentic. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But we're trying to make it look cool. like you could ski down here what's going on with this painting it's really washed down I put a lot of white in these colors so it's really washed down it's not as uh, vibrant but it's it's really cool looking it's got like a soft look. That's what I'm telling you, man. I do any every time I do landscapes, they always, they always, they're different every time. They never come out the same way. So you don't have to worry about uh, if you want to follow along and paint this one. It, yours is going to come out a little different, but. It'll still be your painting, though. Because your colors will be a little different. Uh, but, man, look at that. I really like it. I think a lot of it has to do with the, the, the darkness of the mountain. It's really light because I usually use a, like a darker gray in here or a, usually really a lot darker, but I'm not complaining. That looks pretty cool. Make sure, is this in close enough for everybody? I think sometimes if I zoom it in too much, it goes out of focus. So I want to be very careful here now. 
I don't want my trees to be too overly, you know, dark. Just trying to soften up the bottom of the mountain here. It's the brush is just a little wet. <coughs> Very cool. Well, this is definitely uh turning out pretty good <laughs> for a Friday night. I got to go to work at 5 in the morning tomorrow. So I got to get to bed at a decent time today. So let's do this now. Now that the sky is dry, if you're new to acrylic paint, the stuff dries so fast. Like if somebody wanted to buy this painting, I could mail it tomorrow and it would be completely dry. It's like, that's how fast it dries. If you were doing oil paint, you'd have to let it set for about... Uh, three weeks before you could mail it. So, but oil does look uh, more natural. I think these are fluorescent colors, like I said. So I'm trying to make it look like this. Almost something maybe you'd see in a, like on a, like a postcard or something, you know. So Lisa and I, we went to a, a new bar today. We got a gig on May 10th from, uh, we'll be playing from 7, seven to 9, <laughs> which is all right. And it's not too far from my house. It's... Uh, maybe eight blocks away so I won't have to travel too far but it boo this is looking pretty good oh, I, <laughs> my thing didn't update Yeah, that, uh, yeah, this one here. These were my favorite mountains that I've done. There's actually color in the snow up there. Yellow, pink, blue. It looks, this painting came out great. This was almost, I think this was the first, uh, or second fluorescent painting I did. I really liked it. This one's just turning out a little different. It's uh, more subdued, the colors. I'm going to put, uh, run some trees up this hill now.
this is where I got to make sure I use the right color up here. I'm almost thinking like a dark, uh, just like a grayish blue, I'm thinking. Let me try that first. I'm going to take some of the blue over here, put a little bit of uh, black in it. Wow, that black really darkens it up. Maybe a little green. Fluorescent green. It's like a greenish gray. Let's see what uh what it looks like. I think it's gonna be okay for the distant trees. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's not too dark and it's not too light. So that'll work. We'll put uh, a few trees up here. Ba -da -ba -ba, I like that. All right. Very good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <coughs> I think I like, I think this color works good. It's a grayish green. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to put a little blue in it now. And I'm going to put some large, some bushes on this side of the, the water. I'm going to make this water now. And I'm going to run a tree up here. Cool. Let me highlight it. Did it do?
trying to darken it up a bit. There we go. I'll just use some of the uh, dark green that I already have and darken it up just a little for uh, a tree over here. I almost want it darker than that. There we go. There we go. If you're new to painting, these are the easiest trees to uh, to make, <clears throat> or they're the easiest to learn how to make. But there's there's so many different style uh, evergreen trees. But look at that scene! Wow! Wow! Doesn't it look good over these colors? It's like really coming, it's really coming together now. I used a very light green today on my trees. I usually make those really dark. <coughs> so I'm kind of adjusting to the uh, painting. So it looks really misty, doesn't it? It looks like a misty. Wow. I think somebody's going to like this one. <laughs> I'm going to put some uh, light green on this tree. To highlight it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a lot of take this green here and put a lot of white in it it's titanium white oh I should have I gotta rinse my brush off it has a lot of gray on it Thanks, Jaden. I appreciate that. <clears throat> if you got a channel, I'll subscribe to you. I mean, if you uh, if you want me to, if you have content on there, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just started doing these fluorescent paintings uh, the other day. Uh, they're not usually the, the colors I use. But I thought I'd give it a try because uh, all my other paintings were more like traditional art. Trying to mix it up a bit. Yeah, okay, I like that light. It's a light green. I'm just mixing the fluorescent green with white 
to get a very light color. I'm going to highlight this tree with that also. A little bit on this one. Trying to lay, let the paint lay on top, but this brush isn't working right, so it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, <coughs> how do you say, smudging it a bit, but it still looks okay. I'm going to mix a little bit of, uh, I'm going to try some uh, yellow over here. Let's try yellow on these bushes. Uh, take a little bit of yellow and let's add a little touch of pink in it. You'll get like a, a cool color. I'm going to highlight these bushes with this color. There we go. That looks cool. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make these orange, more orange. I'm going to put a little more pink in that yellow. And turn these a little brighter. Cool, some of the green kind of mixed in there with it. It's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to keep this dirt down here. What I'll do is just put some kind of like lines in here coming off that water. Like hills. Just like that. Uh, let me get the knife out. Decide to turn it. Maybe that stream's coming from behind here. <coughs> wow. It's coming out pretty good. It's really, uh, I think it needs a few more colors. Like, uh, you see how this pink is really bright right here in the middle? like some pink down in here. I'll probably have to put some pink flowers or bushes down here. But I'm really liking this. Oh. 
I'm using the wrong knife for that. You got to use this uh, this long knife when you do this. You just put the color right on the tip. Light's not really showing up much, but you can see it. It's real subtle. I'm going to put a little pink down here and see what happens. Just like a wash. the wash there we go that'll work looking for my liner brush. I haven't done the clouds yet. Hey, Raina. Raina Village Life Blog. How's it going? Thanks for watching, guys. Wow, that black's really showing up strong. Maybe I should uh, use like a grayish color for that. I'm going to have to put some clouds up here. Put a few birds first. Uh, let me see. I gotta think what kind of clouds I want up in here. I think I'm gonna do the kind that uh, that are really easy to make. <laughs> I'm running out of time so
Just some simple clouds here. Do, do, do. Some quick clouds. I should put some like pink clouds down here. Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, that pink is really, really strong. I put a lot of white in it. All right, guys, I'm a, about going to wrap this one up here pretty quick. I kind of like this one. Get this in a little closer. All right. Wow. I think there's, I mean, there's a lot more I could do to this, but, uh, where am I at? On, oh, I'm at one hour right now. Bad at bad. It's looking pretty good. You can see how the colors kind of soak in, uh, Sometimes you got to come back and re-hit some of the colors. Let me put a little white in here. Just for some highlight colors. See what uh trying to see if pink it's pretty strong.
Do 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 do. Pretty cool. My liner brush is not working today. I have to do the branches later but that's about all I'm going to do today on this one let me put a few more birds up there though now that I got the clouds done put them up here higher Do 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 do. All right, guys. Wow, those birds are really dark on that sky. <laughs> they'll they'll fade in a little bit. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks, uh, whoever subscribed. I subscribed to the channel. I appreciate that. Let's, let's compare this to the other one I did the other day. This one's got more, you know, contrast. This one's more like uh, laid back, I think. The colors are a lot lighter. But it looks good. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Yep, I got fluorescence. Yeah, I like that style of clouds I, uh, I do now. They're quick and easy, and they look good. Yeah, I'm doing great. I... I've been working and uh, I'm ready for the summer because hopefully we'll, I'll hit a lot of these uh, farmers markets this uh, summer. I got enough paintings. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, look at that. This almost looks like uh, like a normal, just a normal painting, you know. Kinda, except for the sky. But I really like it. Check out the, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Ellie. Did you guys like that other style I did earlier? That, uh, that, uh, that one up there? That's totally a different style there, but I mean, I like, I like the way it came out. I had fun with that one.
I like all the different <laughs> styles I do now. There we go. Right, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. And uh, have a good night. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Cheers. All right, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.